Guys, I want to talk about a little uh, a hidden gem. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah? And it's, it's not very hidden. It's called uh, Days Gone. Okay. Yes. Where do you find this gem? You find it on Steam. Ah, who hidden hidden away look? on Steam on the front page. <laughs> or PS4, I think, right? Yeah, you know what? Um, that's how I started playing it recently, was it was free on the PlayStation Plus ah, network. Yeah. And I, I downloaded it. I was like, oh, wait, you know, I remember that came out. Uh, when it came out, it was surrounded by, I think, The Last of Us. And like, yeah. it was surrounded by several other games that I think it just got kind of pushed to the wayside. Yeah. It was like, oh, right. here's, here's three great games. It's like, I can only afford two, so Days Gone, sorry. But it just recently came out on PC. I've been playing it on the PlayStation Plus, and it's wonderful. Yeah, it's very now pretty. It's, it looks it great. It looks pretty. Yeah. It's, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's single player, right? Yep, single player, third person action adventure. But it's survival y too? It's a little survival y. It's not as survival y as something like Seven Days. There's not a lot of crafting and mm-hmm. stuff involved. Like, um, a lot of the survival is like if you're out in the wild, um, you want to make sure that your bike's in good shape. So your bike's your yeah. your hub. Your bike is your hub. You can quick save by the bike, mm-hmm. and if it runs out of fuel, you got to find fuel. If you damage it, you got to fix it. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And storage. Mm-hmm. Um, no, there's, well, you can store ammo and stuff on the bike. So okay. yeah, it's your place to go back to if you need more ammo. Like if you're fighting a bunch of zombies. Now I saw. I guess was a horde. Yeah, the hordes in that game look amazing. And it's yeah. like a ton of it's zombies. Like hundred, hundred, two hundred zombies on screen at once, just running at yeah. you. But you're not in a fort. You're like running and bl- setting traps and blowing up stuff and yeah, taking it's them very, out. I've only um, on the game I have at home. I've only fought one horde out in the open. And yeah, it was very connect. Like I went in, I was like, "Oh, I'll set a couple of traps." Just got annihilated. It's like, "Fuck, I got to do this completely different." Yeah. So I went in, planned a path. You know, you're setting booby traps next to um, gas containers. It's like, okay, I'm gonna lead them this way. Then I'll lead them behind the building. I can lead them over this tank. I'll shoot the tank, and then you execute it, and it feels amazing. That's fun. It's wonderful. It's like nice. a getaway strategy. Now yeah. I'm watching the trailer, and I saw this guy just stab somebody who was not a zombie. So I guess there's bad people in here too that you're fighting against. You're not just fighting against zombies. Yeah, well, you're not just fighting. Yeah, yeah. There's a story, and you're fighting against uh, also like marauders. There can be people out in the world that are like setting traps. You can mm-hmm. be uh, you can be riding your bike and get sniped off your bike. You can be riding your bike and get um, there's like clotheslines people set up, and yeah. these are like ambush like ambushes. And in order to make the road safer, you go into the ambush camps and kill everybody. This looks amazing. Oh. It, really it is. It's really good. I was like, yeah, just playing it on the PlayStation 4. It's not, yeah. you know, it doesn't do cin- cinematics as well as something like The Last of Us or GTA, but what it does, it does okay. It's not yeah. the best thing ever made, but it's uh, it's really good for what it is. When I was watching, after you, you brought that up to me, you're like, oh, watch this, and I was watching it, watching one of the big hordes, yeah, <laughs> like of just full gameplay. I started getting anxiety. I'm like... <laughs> No, no, no! Shit, it shit, oh, right. shit! <laughs> no, yeah. the way the, the way the game handles it too is really good. Like if you're approaching a horde, the music kind of starts swelling, gets really tense, and then when they're coming after you, it just cranks into full on like you better run, motherfucker. That's mm. great. Like mm. yeah, it's it does those hordes really, really well. It's it's easily the one of the highlights of the game because when you beat one, it's just the best feeling. I was just reading that uh, they must have like a bunch of like um, weekly challenges as far as hordes and stuff like that. So they're keeping they're keeping things fresh for those who keep playing. It looks like. Oh, cool! A little challenging kind of things. And I tell you what, I'm not gonna lie. When we stop seven days, I mean, pretty much every time we have, you know, after a season or whatever we consider a season, I, I kind of miss it immediately. <laughs> Me <laughs> so too. This, it's a good little uh, zombie fix. I think it's just more psychological in knowing that we're not gonna play it for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, here I'd like to I'd like to uh, ask you some basic questions. Oh shit! I just saw like uh, I'm watching the trailer right now, but um, there was like eight zombies on top of them, and it gave me anxiety uh, <laughs> 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 instantly. So you don't have to like what I like about Seven Days is I like looting, like I like trying to find things. So yeah. c- let's compare that th- th- with this. When you kill zombies, do you find things on zombies like it used to be in Seven uh, Days? What you get from zombies, like anytime you kill a zombie, you get like uh, their ears. And then you can turn their ears in for bounties at uh, the camps. <laughs> okay. That <laughs> okay. is fun already. Already? I'm already like, <laughs> okay, that's good. I don't understand Because you're that. not getting know. nothing. You're getting ears. At least they can get you something down the road. What the fuck the do they do with yeah. the ears? You sell them. You sell them at yeah, the what camp. Are they, what do they yeah, do but with what, them? Yeah, what's, that, they are delicious. They're delicious I, when I you eat them. You've got to dry them in a certain way. They're like a chip. Like what do you do with a dollar? 
dollars well, is I mean, that much use, does it? Yeah. No. No, no it's all credits. Every currency, camp has their own individual credits. That's what the ears buy you. Yeah. I'm That'd be saying. funny if every okay. camp yeah, had their had <laughs> like an individual like currency. Like at the one camp you gotta use the ears, at the other camp use a nose or yeah. their there toes. Might be some, <laughs> there might be some genius here though, because like if all the survivors on in the world um, that's like a sign that they're doing good to take down the zombie threat, and that becomes the currency system. Mm-hmm. Bring me some zombie ears. Yeah. You See, to, you and then now working. we'll pay you for them. Yeah. But you know that there's going to be a problem with counterfeit zombie ears, and so they're going to go out, <sighs> chop it off regular yeah, people's ears, like trying to make the them past. look like zombie <laughs> ears. <laughs> Start. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you know. So don't get the game. Uh, no. Yeah. Don't get the game. <laughs> zombie ears didn't make that's any okay. sense. <laughs> that yeah. is a fucking it's a slippery ears, man. slope. Had me yeah. until then. It really is. Now there's there's a few games I actually want to go over, and because one just came up, and uh, our friend Aztecia was talking about it. Knockout City. Has anyone played that? I've, I've heard not. really What's good about? things about it's it. Bi- yeah, it looks like dodgeball. Yeah. Ooh. It's dodgeball. Knockout uh, City. Team based multiplayer action game with crossplay coming to PS4. Yeah, it's an EA Switch. game. Yeah, it is yeah an Anthony. EA game. Anthony liked it. Hey, Anthony. Anthony's in the office. Hello, Anthony. Yes, it's Knockout City. The beta was so much fun. Play it. Okay, there you right. go. Oh, we gotta play Ooh. it. Look past the zombies. We should, we should so call this play it or fun. spray it. I don't know what spray it. What I uh, guess you spray it with. I don't know what that. I don't know. Yep, Vaseline. spray it with your. Put the no, Vaseline but that's a good thing. Okay, dodgeball game, Knockout City. Yeah. Okay, there's that. What, what else you got? The, it's an EA game. Where's the slot machine? Oh, oh. I bet you. Oh, yeah. I, bet you yeah, 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 I burned. Gonna, I burned yeah. you. Yeah. No, I. I think I'm. I'm expecting it too. You're gonna see all sorts because already they have season one. So season two, oh, yeah, it's gonna come go. out around football season. They're gonna have like Baker Mayfield and all these other NFL players. I don't. I'm just guessing. Yeah, I don't blame companies for doing it, but yeah, it's it's the transition. You know, I'm an old fuddy duddy now, or so it's like I just want to pay the money and to have all of the game. And now just, you know, we don't live in that world anymore. You just using that word. What was it? Fuddy duddy. Fuddy duddy. Fuddy duddy. Fuddy duddy. Fuddy duddy. Just yeah. using that. You have you have you're now older than Simon. <laughs> You've been around Neebs too wow. long too. You know what? Fuddy duddy sounds like a really good candy bar. <laughs> it does. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Bite, bite into store. a fuddy duddy. Come on, bite into a nutty, funny duddy. <laughs> you don't Feeling horny? To eat it. Get a funny duddy. Get two. <laughs> Give one to your buddy. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Want a funny duddy? It's nutty. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Knockout City looks interesting. The okay. other one, an Absur- Absur- and Absaro and... Are we done rhyming? Yeah. yeah we, we we pretty much. Okay. Slutty. Uh, another one. Yeah. Biomutant. Yeah, that looks pretty. Yeah, I had no interest in that game until I saw the trailer, what, on Tuesday we watched it? And yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's way more of an open world RPG than I thought it was. Lots That's of customization. Yeah, I like, uh, and yeah, pretty world. I was like, okay, okay, I'm, I kind of want to check this out now. Yeah. And now, would they say that combines like Breath of the Wild along with uh, some other stuff, but... Guardians of you Galaxy. Can, you can cut. Yeah, you can customize the way you fight in that game. Debbie like does your, Dallas. Your fighting mm-hmm. style, obviously. Uh, I think the aesthetics. You can mm-hmm. like all your clothes, but you, you play as some sort of like jackalope or mm-hmm. raccoon pillow fight. Yeah, it, it yeah. does seem it's an uh, the the creators of the game kind of pulled a little bit from everything. Which yeah, is cool. a little bit of a Arkham. Arkham Asylum. Yeah, I heard someone style. say that. It's like, oh, the game's like Arkham. I'm like Arkham. It looks nothing like Arkham. But I guess maybe the fighting mechanics. Fighting. Are mm-hmm. I bet. Similar. I bet the fighting. Yeah. Who I mean, made what it? game uh, is beautiful this? Beautiful game. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. It's cool looking. Bio mutant. Okay. You play as like a little rodent. A little rodent. Like mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, some sort of a ra- raccoon. Yeah. THQ it, almost looks, it almost looks like some kind of kung fu panda. Yep. Like, yeah. You're panda. Right. Raccoon. Panda raccoon. Jerboa. Yeah. But no, it looks neat. That's cool. Yeah, I, I like having some uh, some good games on the horizon here. Hey, do you get hungry when you study? Have a fuddy duddy. It's nutty. Let's Buddy, bring it, let's right. bring it back. No, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm not I don't know. I, I like think, there's a I lot think more it we was can so do. good before. Names, you tainted it. Are, I don't want to be done with that. Why are you you? Why do you do this? I can't so, help it. Hey, he can't. Here's some fun. Uh, so the guys that made Biomutant, um, THQ, and I was like, they've been around for a long time. And it turns oh, out yeah. they they have been around since um, 1990, April yeah, 1990. THQ, they're 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 grandpas in the gaming industry. So yeah, they oh freaking uh, destroy yes, all humans. Uh, Saints Row, no, all Darksiders, humans. but Saints Row's a biggie, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Well, I think see. they're the publisher. They's not the develop. They're the publisher, right? Ah, yeah, yeah that's right. it. Got gotcha, you, right. got gotcha. you. But they, yeah, yeah. got gotcha. you. Okay. They just All publish. Right. Yes, I need to they are publishers. They're like uh, an they're EA publishers. or an Ubisoft. Yeah, but you know, the, of, the name still kind of represents. You know, the games are represented oh, by them. I'm getting, getting my fuddy duddy buddy on again. Here we go. Um, um, there we go. Uh, yeah. Ubisoft mentioning them. Um, uh, I think I heard the next Division game is going to be free to play. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. They're. I. I think a lot of develop or they're going to move towards that model they've seen the success of something like Fortnite, warzone yeah, yeah. It's like, right yeah so ubisoft's looking like okay we can just put out this game for free and charge people for cosmetics and you know what shit. would really kill it uh get paid to play that would kill it yes that would take it to a different level sure yeah get what paid to play you get make like a, a nickel a minute the more you yeah, play, we'll, we'll pay you to play our make. game mm-hmm. yeah yeah okay Boy, you'd be desperate now if it was if it was <laughs> i'll a get nickel, back into carpentry it, there's a good chance you're still going to be buying. If it keeps you playing, you're still going to be buying those uh, ward the wardrobe choices and stuff. So it's going to probably work for them in the end anyway. If you're earning some sort of real currency that yeah you can spend in the game, yeah, but you could also buy more. Cur- I mean, God, that's GTA, isn't it? It is GTA. <laughs> GTA. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We didn't even know we were being duped. Yeah. What, motherfuckers? But if you could, but if it's if free, you could exchange your game money for. What if Amazon had games? They do. Well, now, well, now you're, you describing, you're describing describing some bucks. like some of this cryptocurrency shit they're working on. Yeah. Where it's like you're running on uh, what is it? Um, Decentraland. There's a there's a there's a game that runs on the Ethereum network called Decentraland, where you can pay real world money for in game property, clothes, art, etc. Okay. So I can do a heist and then I can go buy some earbuds. No, I don't think it works like that. No, that's, it's real ga- real money. About. He's saying. Yeah. Well, yeah, Ethereum that you have to use real money to or uh, yeah. What is their currency? I think their currency is called Mana. Yeah. Mana is the name of the and currency. And I can buy shoes with it, like real shoes. If you sold a piece of like if you bought a piece of property in the game mm-hmm. and then eventually sold it, you yeah. could convert what you sold into Back into U.S. dollar, and yes, you could buy shoes with it. You got to cut the friction down. In game, mm-hmm. I do a heist. Yeah, I make some mana, mm-hmm. and then I pull up my game phone, and I go, "Okay, I want some, some Nikes." Okay, yeah, there, yeah. there's going to be ha- ha- there have to be some solutions developed for that. All right, but yeah, I guess I guess it would be possible. I want to use my mana to buy Nike. Nike would have to get on board. Yeah, I'm hungry. I want a fuddy duddy. Yeah, I want mm-hmm. a fuddy duddy. Pull Nike, up DoorDash Nike's and on pay board. for it with mana. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any other games thick? Now we're funny that he's not oh, being healthy. Still on like that? Okay. Fake peanut butter paste. What? Or something? What? I'm just saying. A funny daddy. Too many of those. Oh, oh yeah, no, it found, sounds very unhealthy. Yeah. Funny, funny daddy. Hmm. Now we also recently got an email about. <laughs> yeah. This is probably the most interesting title. <laughs> right. Kung Fu Jesus. Did you look at it? Yeah, it doesn't look like Jesus-y so much, because I know that there was another game out there. It was like a fighting game with Jesus. This is some sort of like, yeah, it's psychedelic, and I don't even... Wow. I, the trailer just got uploaded to YouTube uh, three hours ago. Is it Street Fighter-ish? Uh, not, no, because it's not like one-on-one. Like, oh, it's okay. Si- That's there's what some the one side-scroller stuff. Gotcha. There's like... I think you drive a car at some point in time, which Jesus was known to drive many, many cars. And a great driver. But I don't even see yeah. Jesus at all in the trailer. Well, the the character that, that you fight oh, as the character is, is called Funk Kung Fu Jesus. Yeah. I was hoping that Jesus You were gonna see Christ right, knew Kung Fu and was gonna be like kicking serious ass. It's misleading yeah. a bit, huh? Yeah, he drives yeah, a go kart. Uh yeah, it looks like an old school beat 'em up. Yep. Yeah, like a final, it, there, it, there's some other stuff. Like there's a spaceship um, and boats. Okay. And nothing like, looks like Jesus. Was no. it Jesus? Was it just a Hispanic I know. person? Um, I, I, I don't know, man. Kung like, Fu that, Jesus. Maybe. But but if you're going to make a game and you're like, oh, what's a good title? Kung Fu Jesus? Like immediately I'm like, I mean, okay, yeah, I want to see this. <sighs> but as soon We're as talking you about it. Go there and you don't see Jesus. You're like, meh. Whoa, spaceship battles. Where the fuck did that There's come Jesus. from? Exactly. I'm still watching it. I know, it. I'm still watching it, too. <laughs> you make a point, though. Neat. Jesus is just a name, ultimately. You know, it just happened to become True. that yes. name. So. But Jesus, you know, he's. it could be Jesus uh, with a different outfit on. Yeah. But so, like, There's or, a few names, though, where you're like, you're expecting something. If it yeah. was called Kung Fu Hitler. Yeah, Hitler, <laughs> sure. Satan, whatever. You're looking for a certain <laughs> look. Kind of expect right. to see a little mustache. Okay. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right, right. Yeah, I, I see it. no beards. I see no robes. 
Kung yeah. Fu Santa, you'd expect a fat guy with a red suit. You might get to unlock it. Become more Jesus-y as you go along. Walk on water yeah. later. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah. Water to wine, you know what's up. I like how in America, like all the pictures of Jesus, the, he's got like a swimmer's build. He's oh, like, good. yeah, he's like <laughs> ripped, he's white as can be. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I think I yeah. saw on Reddit one time, um, a guy gave his grandmother a picture of Jesus, but it's just a picture of Obi Wan Kenobi yeah. from Episode One. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. It's like I got you this picture of Jesus, Grandma, and she has it and like she hung, hung it. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she has it hung up in her right. house, but it's just Ewan McGregor. I, yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see it every once in a while on Facebook. It's like, uh, if if you don't share this, you know, see how many people will share this picture yeah, yeah. of Jesus or that kind of thing. <laughs> it's and it's you and McGregor. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the dumbest thing. If you don't share this, yeah, Jesus will hate you. Yeah, would you help oh, Jesus? God. What Fa- Facebook Jesus is a is a, you know. Now that's a game. That's a game. <laughs> Let's make that. Yeah, God. I, last night I was thinking about how weird it is that people are famous in different countries, because some countries are little. Actually, mm-hmm. what what caused this thought was I was I heard like a loud noise outside. Mm-hmm. And I was like, is my dog going to freak out? I think it was a firework. So I was like, let me just hit play on YouTube and something. Mm-hmm. And it was like one of those audition music singing shows with the chairs that turn around. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like the voice or something. All right. mm-hmm. But they have those all over the world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it would be like Denmark, uh-huh. Finland, uh-huh. France. Right. Yeah. Like almost, all these almost people every are, country. Yeah. They're all doing their own thing. Yeah. yeah. Like living well, their own life. Well, it's part of the show. Yeah. This is the yeah. first they they've sing, heard of it. They sing songs in their language. No and they shit. have people that are famous what? in that country with that language. I don't yeah. believe it. <laughs> I know. I didn't either. Yeah. Get but this. It, Get this. Real. Other I'll countries. I, I saw I saw videos of other countries. They have roads like us. They have cars <laughs> and bikes just like us. I saw one drinking Coca-Cola. What? They don't have Coca-Cola in other countries. Smoking a Marlboro. But to me, it's kind of surreal to see three or four seats of people that you've never seen, mm-hmm. and they're like crazy famous in their in their country. Mm-hmm. You're like, what are you doing, Judge? Nobody knows you. You're so, Nobody, you, but, and you're world you traveled. What a weird thing to be like thrown back by. It's just yeah, weird to me. By. I know yeah, it's okay. a thing, but it's still, when you see four people and you never even heard of them, and you go, man, I bet they sell out a Coliseum. I, I just Probably assume could. they're known in that country. That's what I assume. Yeah. But isn't it you weird too? A little bit. No, no, not, not at all. To me, in any no. way. Anybody else oh, find it weird? You just watch it all the time. No. And it's just is normal. It's just never phased me at all because it's another country. <laughs> I mean, even Britain. Obviously, when you we look know at the, the Britain uh, ones. No, I don't know half of like them. Like Robbie, what's because his you know name? what? He's always on there. No, I, have, okay. I don't watch these shows. Okay. Robbie, well, what's I, his exactly. name? That's famous. I, I believe Eurovision is going on right now, and that's like the longest running that's of these huge. competitions. Yeah. Now, that's you hilarious, you're not too. Know those guys. If you watch Eurovision, like every American goes, okay, so they've just hired some actors that act like pop stars. Not one American, I don't think, does that. Nope. They no, know they there's, there's a big that. world out they there. They all do that. You you thought the same thing until you saw a documentary recently, and you act like you know what you're talking know about. What are you, you don't talking know any, about? Name you one Eurovision idiot. popular. Let's hear it. What you got? Your what favorite you, Eurovision star? No, I don't know them. I just assume, like I know. I don't expect to know them. He knows because it's it. a big like, world. Yeah, like it's been We're existing. Eurovision was We're a assuming. thing until until Will Ferrell brought it to like, your attention. I think it was last year. What? You, what? No, I knew about Eurovision for years. I knew about that. Oh, Here you come on with your dumb brain. <laughs> like, Here so, we go. Our, our, our community, uh, in our community, oh, the magician, Siler, he was on Romania's Got Talent. I saw that last year. Like, I fucking know about, like, it's, it didn't phase me at all. Like, that's another country. I don't recognize any of these celebrities. Of course I don't. As long as it doesn't have to do with their language, I'll watch whatever their talent is. I don't give a shit. Remember when I showed you that show that had that little girl that spoke, like, nine languages? Like, I showed you that clip at the office years ago. Do you remember that? Okay. That was uh, one of those I shows, do. and it was foreign. So yeah, I remember thinking she said one sentence in each language. I could probably do that. She did. A, she did a lot more than that. A lot more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that girl's a scammer. Look at her. <laughs> That's what you're thinking. Jesus, I can't. I'm out of this conversation. I can't do it. <laughs> no. I was like I can't. No, I'm, listen, listen, I'm joking a little bit, almost, but still, I know. When I, I know. When I see when I see four or five people. And you just think, man, I don't even know any of them. 
course it's you funny don't. That this you don't whole, live there. Of course I know I don't. I'm just saying <laughs> it's kind of funny when you look at it. You're just like, yeah, I get it. They have famous people. But part of you goes, it's funny that you don't know them. Part of you goes, I suppose. You, yeah. Because you look at someone who's not famous and you realize they are famous. And you go, oh, this is like this nerdy guy. Uh-huh. But you realize, nope. He's a multimillionaire. These he's got days, millions of fans. These days, that's such a different story than it's ever been on account of how many different platforms and just in yeah, America no alone. Like you, we used to be able to keep up with everyone famous. You know, even if you weren't into sports, you'd you'd heard of Michael Jordan or whatever. You know, you right. you'd still kind of knew the famous people, whether or not you cared about them or not. But these right. days, good God! <laughs> like well, let's play a game. TikTok um, or whatever. Hit me. Hit me with three names. One of them's a famous athlete, and I'll try to guess which one's the famous one. Okay. Right. Hit me. Oh. Who's, who's hitting you? Do you want to do this? Who well, I don't know do any that? famous athletes, so yeah, it should probably, probably be well, thick. I'll bet yeah, you well, do. Dora. So I have to make up, like, one. Give me three names. Okay. All um, right. I'll name, I'll name three people. Okay. And um, One's an imposter. Yeah, one's an athlete. <laughs> uh, Bryce, no, one's an here athlete. we go. Here yeah. we go. Bryson DeChambeau, Al Marsh. John Fields, which one's the athlete? If it's not the Fields guy, I'm going to be upset. Um, we'll work together. John Fields playing in the field. I uh, want that to be the one, but it's probably not. What were the other ones? Alan, I like DeChambeau. Al Marsh. That sounds fun. Al Marsh. I want to go with DeChambeau because okay. I like that name. All right. I'm going to go with Al Marsh. All right. It was Bryson DeChambeau. That was an Al easy Al Marsh one. is yeah. my CPA. Um, <laughs> you got lucky, DeChambeau, because your name's funny. <laughs> he's he's this this guy can drive a golf ball probably three hundred forty oh, yards. Yeah, he is a golfer. Give he's, us a football one now. Oh, do a football, football one. Football edition. Yeah. Mm, God, you really want to? It's going to be the same this. game. It's, it's going to be the same game. You yeah, don't know any but of it's these football. <laughs> it's about, different. How about this? Okay, go ahead. We could have um, played it about, already. You ready, Neebs? Go ahead. Drew. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uno, dos, siete, That's nueve, numbers. or ocho, cinco. <laughs> yep, there you go. Is one of those really a, an athlete? Absolutely. Absolutely. One of them is. Uno, dos, siete, uh-huh. nueve, uh-huh. or ocho, cinco. Ocho, cinco. Ocho, cinco? It sounds yep. better. I like Ocho Cinco the best. Is it Ocho Cinco? It is Ocho Cinco. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey! Yeah, yeah. You know all these guys. got lucky. I'm two for two. <laughs> lucky. Yeah, you're great. You're killing it. And that was clever, by the way. That was very <laughs> clever. I'm all right, I got, I got one. Okay, I got one. Yeah. So one's going to be a baseball player. Okay. So Babe Ruth. Yes, Babe Ruth. Uh-huh. I know Babe Ruth. Oh, man. You're because so he's a legend. Right, can we move on? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, I know. that's old fame. I know. I was being sarcastic. Let's fucking move on. I'm two for two, baby. No, get one. Give him one baseball one. No, I mean it's, but it's okay. Go ahead. Well, fame is weird now. Like, yeah, fame is becoming more and more niche. I think. Like, I wonder if at any point there will be, you know, like a, a, another Michael Jackson. There won't be. That's just that insane level of fame. There won't be unless our uh, society breaks down. Mm-hmm. Because you look at Elvis, the Beatles. Yeah. Those guys. They came at a time where if you wanted media. You were on radio or TV, and that's it. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's all you got. And now yeah. there's so many platforms. I know. Right? Between, How about this yeah. one? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. All right. This You ready Daddy, for this? Daddy. This is yep. baseball edition. Okay. Terry Ferret, Farming Bud, or Raleigh Fingers? <laughs> See, good for you. You're good. <laughs> um, oh, boy. I kind of want it to be the ferret one. I want it to be Farming Bud. <laughs> <laughs> it's Raleigh Fingers. You guys did great. Damn it's it. Raleigh Fingers. He was a You're pitcher very for good the at A's. Guessing. Uh, wait, did I say Oh, I wait, no, you ferret. didn't. You didn't. You said the ferret. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ferret. Terry so Ferret's one of- got it. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Terry Ferret. <laughs> well, neither one of you knows a lot about sports, but I don't know no. a lot about sports either, and I could lose yeah, this game either. all day with a lot of sports. Anything but, modern, uh, I'd lose. A lot of sports I would lose. People. I can't keep up with shit. But, Neves, you're right. There's... there's so many different and and apps are too because it's very niche like you've got peop, people who are youtube famous and you know hyper focused on gaming or cooking or whatever and there's tiktok and it's it's insane how many just outlets there are for people to have a platform and gain fame so Nobody i don't think you're going to you're not going to have <laughs> like an elvis or a michael jackson because but, it's it's going to be very difficult to, I guess, I, yeah. 
capture all the be, be, that, be everywhere at once. I think musically, though, uh, because of the two that you just mentioned, I think, or the big ones, they were music, right? It was Michael Jackson, whatever else it was. Mm-hmm. And Beatles. Elvis. Um, yeah. Beatles, yeah. I think that musically, you're much more likely to be m- much bigger just because of, uh, I don't know. If you're hitting the main stations, like, if you're hitting the ones, the stations that are played well, at all the businesses. Big, yeah, well, like someone yeah. like The Weeknd who plays I mean, the Super Bowl. I mean, that's hard to ignore. It's like, okay, who's yeah. this guy? I didn't know much about The Weeknd until he was on the Super Bowl. I was right. like, let me check anything. out this guy's music. Oh, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, but Michael Jackson, right. when he was the Super Bowl, you already knew who he Everyone. was. Oh, yeah. Exactly. yeah it wasn't true. like, who's this guy yeah. playing the Super Bowl? That's right. no, very true. Yeah, Michael Jackson like uh, said, I'm going to do a music video, and we're going to put it on prime time. Like, we were watching television, everyone's on a schedule, and he's like, fuck it, I'm going to take a, a 30 minutes, and we're going to do a thriller, thriller. Uh, yeah. video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was exciting shit. Yeah, it was very different time. On the five stations we had. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Lewis. That, you ever hear not, him? Yeah, he was a track and field guy. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Now, listen, I can certainly, I can name a lot of names from the past, mm-hmm. especially when Jordan was big and there was like, actually, I can't. Now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Wait, Rodman? Dennis Rodman? Dennis Rodman? Rodman Scotty Pippen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. okay. I only Back know those era. names from NBA Jam. Yes. <laughs> yeah. God, I want to be the Bulls. I want to be Jordan. I want to be Pippen. There's a new Space Jam coming out. Thank God. I know, Oof. I was super... They made Lola Bunny's yeah. tits smaller, and I'm upset. <laughs> A lot of people Damn are. It. Maybe they can change it before they release it. Yeah. I hope so. It's going to be like changing be like Sonic. Sonic. Like Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. We'll go back <laughs> there and we'll add the tits. Hashtag add the tits. <laughs> then on the next Sonic, they're going to add tits to Sonic. <laughs> gotta we gotta sell. Hot. We got to sell tickets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I... I can't get excited about a Space Jam movie. No, I'm not either. No, God, no. It's not, oh yeah, it's not my demographic. I bet. No, wait. That's it's, it's weird that they've made it after so damn long, but I guess it's not. And that's oh, LeBron yeah. James, right? Mm-hmm. I, is that? Yes. Yep. Okay. LeBron James is going to be playing. Now, who do you think is a better actor? What between LeBron James or Michael Shaquille Jordan? O'Neal? Okay, Shaquille Jordan. O'Neal. Jordan too. Yeah, you throw Jordan. I, mean, I haven't okay. seen LeBron really act. I'll tell you yeah. that much. But um, well, Jordan Shaquille's was great. Oh, in the he first was in the train game. wreck. He, yeah. Uh, I, LeBron James, I think, was in the train wreck. It was that Amy Schumer movie. I didn't see it. And oh yeah, yeah I saw he, that. Wasn't, he wasn't that bad in that. Yeah. I mean, he did yeah. fine. He did fine. You know, under the right director, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you can get LeBron to do what you want to do. Now, listen, this makes me think about, I actually went to the movies the other day, and Anthony went with me, mm-hmm. and we saw... A date. Ooh. Ooh. Is it Wrath of Man or Man of Wrath? I have no idea. Oh, God, I don't yeah. remember. Wrath of the Man, movie. I think. Wrath of the Man. Jason Statham. Uh-huh. Okay. And this, listen, there's not much to pick from at the movies. I wanted to see Nobody, <laughs> but uh, my brother-in-law had already seen it. Okay. So, here's my theory. Okay. This movie wasn't supposed to be at the theaters. I think the theaters were like, we need movies. And they're like, Desperate. well, we made one. If you want to put it up there. We made this one real cheap. Boy, it's, I mean, Pretty there's bad, some stuff. Huh? There's we, some stuff where you think it's like the tryout. Like, you know how they send the videotape in? Like, this is my. This the is audition my, tape. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh boy. Like, that's some sad. of it feels like that in the scenes. Oh, no. Really? Which, you know, that's a shame because that's a Guy Ritchie film. He's usually a really good director. Yeah, yeah. I was excited about that factor yeah. alone. But. Totally forgot about the movie. Obviously, I mean, uh, I didn't, I didn't hate it, but you're you're kind of laughing sometimes because you're just like, is every character in this movie that I'm a tough guy? Did it and have that guy a tough girl? Feel? The, I guess like, because I, it's another movie where they drop the script and the scenes are out of order a little bit. And, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I love, yeah, I love filmmaking these days where it's just like, yeah, let's just write it as we go. He, <laughs> I think he, Biff's in it. Tom Wilson? I think that was Biff. Yeah. Really? Oh. He's in there. I haven't seen him in a movie since 1985. <laughs> <laughs> no, Biff, is, Biff is in a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. Is go he? check out Biff's IMDb. Yeah. And you know who else is in it? I think Clint Eastwood's son. Okay. Old Bobby Eastwood, Jimmy yeah. Eastwood. Yeah. Biff Eastwood? Eastwood, Clint <laughs> Jr. There you go. I didn't even know he had a kid. It's yeah. good. Oh, is this Anthony? Uh, yeah, Anthony's Anthony. Anthony. Hey, everybody. Wrath of Man. What you think? Oh, Jason Statham. He's so serious. He's a man. There you go. He is a man if I've ever seen a man. <laughs> I'll a bet man. he played an entirely <laughs> different character, too. Right? Men. Yeah. 
No, he uh, he played a Cockney uh, British guy with okay. a mission. So I'm Jason Statham. Oh, he had a mission. I've got something to do. I don't like having fun. Yeah, I'm in a mean mug the whole time. Every day. I would. <laughs> that was. I spot would on. see. <laughs> I would like to see one of his movies, like an action movie, just like that, but a different one. But I want to see him with like full on fake hair. Yeah, <laughs> he did one where he's like wearing no, like, a, a wig and brand. Stuff. He's Big always wig. the bald guy. Yeah. I want it to I, look good, though. I want it to be hair that Simon looks Pro. real because we could do that. Like That'd a be, flashback or something. I don't know if we could pull it off. But that'd be great. Yeah. It should I've, be seen so much, I've seen so much bald Jason Statham. I don't know if I could, I'd watch that movie, though. It. That's the point. Yeah. I, my brain doesn't accept him. I mean, I really liked him. And I think he was in Lock, Stock and Two Smoke and Barrels. Yeah, that was and, a Guy Ritchie and, film. Yeah. I mean, that and Snatch. Right. And yeah. Snatch, we was great in. Yeah, but of course. now, for comedic reasons, I would love the hair. Just saying. Big purple fro. It's got to look good. Give him a ponytail. I like a lot of Statham movies. I like him. He's he's fun. He's got yeah. some good presence. But the movie oh, yeah. is, is not wonderful. But it's, hey, if you've already seen Nobody, <laughs> it's, yeah. go check it out. Right, there you go. It's no Bumblebee. You else, if you got nothing else going on. Yeah. No, it's definitely not Bumblebee. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was there nothing else in the theater to pick that might have been better? Well, I'd already seen the week before we saw uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. How was that? That was fun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. That was good. I was very surprised. I enjoyed yeah, that all the way that through. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yep. Good movie. Okay. All right. Enough movie talk. What's Enough next? of that shit. Oh, we talked about games right. and movies. Do you want to talk about your trip? Um, no, I mean, we can. I just I went to Florida recently. There you Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Oh, boy. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was pretty low key. Yeah, it's good though, but you got out of town. No, nah, getting out of town was nice. Just flying the airport, like airport's back to normal in my head. Yeah. It is full on busy. I'm sure. Ma- I have no mask doubt. on oh, the plane, it is, but they're masks. Yeah. So you still got to wear the masks everywhere. But it's yeah, it's just as busy as airports ever been. But yeah, everybody wears a mask. That's Seems the only exactly difference. The same. Yep. What'd you do? Oh, I went to uh, I went into Tampa. I hung out at a friend's house in Tampa. Swam in a pool. Okay. And then after uh, we did that for a night, and then we got up the next morning, we went into Naples and spent a couple days in Naples. And swam in pools? I did not. I swam in the Gulf. It was my first time to the Gulf, and I oh, loved yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Gulf's fun. Gulf's yeah. nice. Yeah, the water's so calm in the Gulf. Warm and well, calm. Yeah. yeah, it's just like glass out there, man. I was like, man, if you had a paddleboard, it's a great place to go. And it's shallow for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. All the way to Texas. You can, you can walk across. Really? No. no, that's bullshit. <laughs> no, come on. Well, I was like, I was on the Gulf puddle. too, and the beach was closed, or the ocean was closed, because it was so rough. Oh, what, here at the at the Gulf, I was at the oh. Gulf as well oh, in really? Florida, oh, but I was oh, at damn. the Panhandle, so it was well, a different. But yeah, uh, it was it was quite rough. So you'll have your glassy your glassy areas, and then your rough areas. Yeah, it depends like on days. yeah, it depends on you know what's going on weather wise, yeah. the winds uh, a yeah. certain direction. There's a hurricane. So, okay, so. Here's what I like. I feel like we've all been to almost all of us have been to Florida this year. Um, But here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find like a unique vacation spot. I want to take my daughters on a vacation and I want to find somewhere like unique. Like I was thinking like Chattanooga, Tennessee, because they have like caves and shit. But I want to know in the comments and also maybe from you guys like. Maybe some good places that you've been that are like hidden gems in the United States. Just one of them. It has to be continental United States because uh, because I have uh, Sky Miles and vouchers. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Both my daughters. Both your daughters, gotcha. Yeah, just okay. just okay. me and my daughters. Well, that's going to affect the the decision greatly because there's you got two young daughters. They're not going to enjoy something out in the desert with nothing around. Caves, though, maybe like that kind of an angle, like stuff yeah. like that. I see where you're going. I see he where knows you're going. their interests. So, you know, yeah. Chattanooga seemed interesting um, because they have like an aquarium. They've got those caves. You can there's like a. But what about Yosemite or something like that? Is that is Yosemite? Is that the one that's like a, it could erupt at Cal- any point? Or? That's Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody's in California. <laughs> that the one I don't that's know gonna anything. Pop off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pop, pop, scratch. <laughs> <Ciao. laughs> Depends on your daughters, though. Like, if they like malls and stuff like that, or, uh, c- you know, civilization, in, you know, and national parks aren't their thing. Yep. Right. Yeah. Probably they're outdoors. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're probably not national parkists. All right. I'll tell you this. I've been uh, been to Chattanooga. They got a place called Ruby Falls. It's like, a, it's actually, an, uh, 
I guess a waterfall inside of a cave. Mm -hmm. But listen, yeah. caves. I've been I've been to caves all over the world. They're the same pretty much. You might okay. find a different mineral, but whether you're in uh, Mammoth Caves or Janolan Caves or Ruby Falls, it's it's, it's a cave. It's rocks. It? Yeah, you're in yeah. a dark, rocky place. Hmm. Which okay, is cool. chances are it's, it's damp. If you're not, you know, you're not. We're not always in dark, rocky places, so it is special to yeah. us. I have yeah. no doubt the chat is going to guide you to the right place. Thick. Yeah, I would like this. I would like this from our great community. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to peek too. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, if I were you, thick, I'd be I'd be picking a city that just has a ton to offer when it comes down to uh, sites and and places that you haven't you know been before. There's a couple of really cool. Uh, what the hell? I was yeah, going to go Cleveland. To some place in. No, Texas. Uh, what the hell is the name? Uh, what are the um. Cincinnati. It's not you. Not Houston. It's in Texas. Hey, it's not Austin. Austin. San Antonio. San Antonio has got some great freaking a lot of things. I mean, it's one of those cities that I looked at and went bingo. That's that's one really good city to bring. I'd go there with uh, my wife. I'd go there with a date, and I'd go there with kids. I'd so go there you got to find cat? cities like that. <laughs> How about a kid? You know that you, that you <laughs> with a fox. That you didn't normally. In a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a box. With a buddy a and rocks. a buddy daddy on a train and a plane. Um, listen, yeah, the Riverwalk. They got there. They got the Alamo. They Riverwalk. got some World Heritage yeah. Hill Country uh -huh. Arts and Crafts. They've got some dolphins somehow. <laughs> they got it all. Oh. Arkansas, Dolphin Land. What I like doing every now and then is getting um going into VR and doing Google Earth VR mm -hmm. uh -huh. and just exploring and trying to find little towns. It's like, is this somewhere I would go? Well, I think I told you. Look you around. That's what I did before I flew to Kauai. Just flew around the island on Google Earth. I got a layout of the yeah. island in my head. That's a great idea. Or just get awesome. some VR sets and be like, hey, yeah, kids, you don't have to leave anywhere. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We're going yeah. 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 Pack your on. bags. Yeah, we're going on vacation. <laughs> Look where we are. <laughs> are we there yet, Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Cheapest vacation ever. Yeah. yeah. With the exception of the headset. With the VR. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the VR right. headset. You, you got to pay for that. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Yeah. yeah, it's probably cheaper than a flight. You were about to go on a trip, Nabes, or what? What? You were oh about yeah. To. If you if you didn't hear, uh, the uh, which pipeline was it? The Colonial Pipeline. Colonial yeah. Pipeline. Oh, yeah. We had issues. Our state definitely gas short. People people freaking out. We got smacked, w sure. Way before they should have freaked out. If yeah, if, uh, yeah. <laughs> we've said it before. If everyone would have acted normal, yeah, would have been fine. People with three quarters of a tank gassing up, bringing gas cans. Like, come on. We know how it works, though. Now, if we, you're out of gas, know. get gas. If you're yeah. not, give it. Give it a couple of days. Yeah. Well, anyway, we, I, yeah, I was supposed to have a trip, and we're like, eh, people are freaking out. Let's just cancel our trip. No need for us to be drunk because we were going to drive to Florida. We were going to go to St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. mm. So we'll do that later. Yeah. yeah Reschedule. Yeah. So three you of will. us were supposed to be in in Florida because I was in Florida too. At once. That seems unsafe. That's like when the president and the vice president fly together. <laughs> we can't <laughs> right. do this for security reasons. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That would have been weird. That yeah, it is. Weird. Yeah. I mean, we were already kind of rescheduling last week because of that. Yeah. Because we all realized, that, like, oh, God, we're all taking a trip right here at this moment. Yeah, we had a really long record day. We mm -hmm. crammed some extra shows into one day, got ready for it. Yep. And it turns out we didn't need it. Mm -mm. Yeah, a great way to poorly affect a gas shortage is by telling people in North Carolina that there's a gas shortage. <laughs> yeah, you right. shouldn't even say anything. Yeah, they, Well, I the governor declared a state of emergency. That'll do it. Yep. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and That'll then. Yeah. That's how you run it. And yeah, every every place in town was out of gas. Well, I think it, it's Within like a, a legal process where declaring a state of emergency allows you to tap into some res reserves and shit. So you have to do it in yeah. order yeah. to like right. loosen some laws about getting more gas. Uh -huh. So declaring that actually is going to help shit. It's like, oh, there's a break in the pipeline. We'll declare a state of emergency. Mm, we'll, yeah. be, we'll have access to more gas. There's no way to do that. Secretly. Maybe some but, details. You know, it with sounds it. so bad to like, you know, like we got a gas shortage. Right. State of emergency. Yeah. Honey, a... we got to go to the gas station now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring the buckets. And the state of emergency was supposed to help in ways of uh, loosening up restrictions. Yes. Like, hey, now a truck driver can drive 40 hours without sleeping. Right. Exactly. And haul gas. Yes. Or whatever. Nope. State of emergency, we need, we need to get gas from point A to point B. No slowing down. Let's go. Yeah. So anyway, now I think we have, I think there's it some seems, shortages, uh, but there's yeah. gas out there. Oh, yeah. It's kind of back, the pipeline came back up within like, what, a few days? Yeah. yeah. We're back to normal now. It was interesting uh, driving because I have an electric car driving by 
all the gas station. Like, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> People f- flipping you off. No, not laughing. Not, not feel. I'm, I mean, I felt bad for everyone. I knew there was the douchebags in there. Probably didn't need it, all that stuff. But uh, it was interesting. It was just kind of a, I don't know. I've seen a it's lot more. It's the first time run having run. the electric car was like, wow, I, it's, there could not be gas for a month and I'd be all right. You asked me last week, you were asking a couple questions that you'd never really asked. <laughs> like, you were incredibly curious about my car more than usual. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, it was, it was a situation. I was like, uh, and, you know, I'm good because I don't drive much. Right. I could go, a, I could probably go a month on a gas of tank. Or mm-hmm. gas of tank on, on a gas of tank? Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 Here he is. But, uh, Get on. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm not getting one right now. I don't like to buy new cars. I got you. Yeah, we we can like, tell. Everybody knows it. <laughs> like I think when there's a used electric car, I'll probably grab it. Yeah, I've never seen you buy. Uh, yeah, it's just a horrible investment for the most part. Sure, sure. Uh, Ford just came out with, uh, or a, was it Biden was driving the Ford? I don't want to get political. The president. Can I even just talk about the? You president can say what was, yeah, yeah, what was he driving? What was he driving? He was driving a Ford F one fifty electric. It's called the Lightning. It's got over five hundred, I think, over five hundred horsepower, and it's coming out in twenty twenty two. Okay. And it's supposed to start at less than forty thousand. Ooh. And uh, and it's uh you know one of the most it's actually I think it might be the most powerful Ford F one hundred and fifty ever put out. Dude, yeah. I'm invested in. And forward. that's why they need to make all of these electric vehicles more affordable because it seems like they're getting it's down a there. Better way to go. They're yeah, the down. GMC no, Hummer's no, like the GMC Hummer starts at like ninety five thousand. It's got over a thousand or it's got a thousand horsepower. But Damn. yeah, I think you know God. options like. I mean, even Tesla starting out is for for what it is. It's not bad. Like, yeah. no, it's not bad. No, but the, but the Hummer. You just said the Hummer, right? Yeah, the Perfect Hummer's example, like that's, that's to be way too. Yeah, that's got yeah, the too crab walk. Go, it does the crab thing. Who needs to go <laughs> sixty miles an hour in three point five seconds in a fucking Hummer? Uh, that just screams I mean, douchebag. You know, now hold to, on, a right? Hummer will just like parallel park, just sideways, straight it, out. All it, four tires yeah. uh, turn really? about what forty five. Degrees, yeah. all four. So it kind of like oh, almost completely sideways, but not completely. That's, but it's still pretty badass. Yeah, it looks cool as shit. <laughs> I love it. That's cool. I didn't know that was an option. I just thought it was just a Hummer that could go really fast because they, they it does go it, sixty. That is the vehicle that has the seconds. crab stuff, right? Thick. I don't know. Thick, I maybe? believe I so. Th- I, I think that's what I saw. I, I think I saw that too. I don't too. know about that. I think it'd be a lot more expensive than 95000 well, I think it's starting. I could starting. buy a Volvo all electric. Well, I know, but the Volvo all electric is starting at seventy two, and that motherfucker don't go sideways. That's all I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The Hummer does do the crab so, walk mode. Yeah, crab walking. Hummer. Yep. Yep. I know exactly what I was. Go ahead. I saw some of that electric car uh, conference that was going on, mm-hmm. and they had all the, like, all the Ford trucks in the background mm-hmm. and you know, i'm looking at some of these cars like why aren't they just remaking some of these classic cars because they, they made beautiful cars back yeah in the, like 50s and yeah stuff like that. i love the look of the old like 50s cars why not bring back some of those designs but just modern i think some have been like inspired by some of the older not designs enough. like the the mustang was inspired by like the 69 70 um, when when they sort of redid it, God, I forget when. Like well, mid-2000s. so did the the Charger. It's so Charger, like yeah, Charger Challenger. It. But yeah, you're right though. It would be nice if like I think that I don't understand why the the game developers in GTA aren't developing all the cars that we could drive. I don't <laughs> understand why there are ugly cars out there. It's all about design. I don't understand why people are ma- like there are great designers out there. Well, right? all- so why are we having ugly, somewhat? unattractive boring looking cars well it's all subjective look too. At gta that's the thing it is true but look at gta and look at the uh look at the sports cars that are in there i mean you're right it is subjective but i th- i think that oftentimes there's a lot of cars out there that are i mean i don't know uh, ugly to the masses but why couldn't you just make like a mazda 3 that looks like a 57 chevy well i, I don't know brand. how production like, lines work well that's you way that. too big but you just need like, look, just we got this generic motor and generic whatever. Let's just make the body look cool. I mean, it, it seems right? like more curves, more yeah. angles cost more money. Is there something there? Is there something with that? I would imagine. I don't know. We, because like we the simpler machines. cars. I don't know. We're like, like, okay, yeah. We have to talk to a car manufacturer. We got machines that make curves. Yeah, but it seems <laughs> so. I know that. But the cheaper cars don't have as many curves, do they? 
I mean, just look oh, at them. Yeah. They just don't. That Cybertruck yeah, ought to be real not. cheap. There's no curves on that yeah. truck. <laughs> How much yeah. is that one? But okay, I mean, you find the one example, but you know what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure. They're smooth. Well, I think there's know. curves on ugly cars. I think it's the quality of the curves. I think that, uh, I, but, yeah, again, all subjective and all, all like, you know, when it comes down to your opinions. That's all. Yeah, you know, balls aren't expensive. Candidate. That's all a ball is, is a curve. Oh boy! Good point. That, yeah, that was a great point. That was the point. Hey, listen. <laughs> well, you got me. That was you such got a good. Me. <laughs> he got you. Neves Neves is going to be driving a ball around. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Neves, I'd love Neves that. Neves in his hamster okay. wheel. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, that could be a ball. thing. Yeah. Kind of like that <laughs> Men in Black thing where they're in that wheel and they're in the middle of it yeah. and it spins around you. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Ball car. <laughs> well, I, I'm just happy that I learned that the the Hummer does the crab walk thing because that oh, is fun. pretty awesome. It's fun. To see now, I'm, now I'm back on the Hummer. Well, it's also very uh, handy when you're traversing yeah. uh, in caverns. Huh. Yes, <laughs> yes. The caves of that I'm gonna visit somewhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, come to think of it, that motorcycle of Men in Black. How do they see where they're going? Which it's, it's a the movie. First Men in Black? It's I don't remember movie. which one you're talking about. That motorcycle, they got like a ring around them, and it balances, and they're in the middle, and the whole wheel's spinning around them, and they're in the middle of the wheel. I don't think I saw this Men in Black movie. Which one was it? I don't remember. You had to have. Two? Three? How many are there? Uh, I feel like I don't know. I've only three, seen the one. Three originals three. and then like a remake. Okay. Oh, yeah. But, but when the wheel's in front of you... All right. I gotta go back and think about this. Okay. It probably had glasses... Glasses that, that see through to the a wheel. camera. Well, you're really reaching. <laughs> giving them the benefit of the doubt. The it's a movie. Black. They know what they're doing. All right. It's a <laughs> fake. <laughs> it's fake. Of course it's fake. How do yes. they see through the wheel? The aliens aren't, though. No, the aliens are real. They're coming for us, and they will eat us all. That's <laughs> there true. are aliens, and no one cares. No one cares. Right I know. The Pentagon's like, hey, UFOs are out there. We don't know what the fuck these things are. Here's what I think it could be. All right, cool. I mean, SpaceX could make this thing, right? I uh, no, I don't think SpaceX? so. No. Yeah, it's probably something made by a private citizen. I or... mean, you've seen the rock, the rockets. They they land. They got rockets. Yeah, you but just, have you heard you the spill? speeds? Have you heard the speeds these are going? Like, and they're going like essentially maybe even through matter. Like, I don't Ooh. think SpaceX is doing shit. Here's like what that. I've heard. Listen, I'm gonna give you an opinion you should completely ignore. Uh, okay. Upside down pyramid with rockets all over it. Mm. If it's an upside down pyramid, See, that makes you think you're already like prime. You know, like. Primitive age with the rockets compared to what these things are doing. Yeah, but a rocket can go hypersonic. They're just talking about hypersonic, right? Like just out of nowhere. And, and the one pilot was saying that it just disappeared in front of them. It disappeared and two of them saw it at the same time. Two cool. of the, two of these, you know, highly decorated fucking officers flying. Just flying back State. from Costa Rica after doing ayahuasca. Just saw uh, it and uh, it was <laughs> disappeared. You shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't work that way, but yeah, they they were like, if they weren't together, they might not have reported. A lot of them aren't reporting it because I'm just saying they know how could people you, react. Could you build? I'm not saying it's not aliens. It could be, but um, if you built an upside down pyramid with all these rocket thrusters and you don't need a payload and you don't need drivers, couldn't you? Don't you think SpaceX could do something? They could bolt around pretty quickly and then plunge into the water quickly. Maybe. I just don't think it'll compare to what they're describing. Yeah, I don't know. All right. well, it's a know, different it technology entirely. Like my head, like I, I go to like the first possibility is like it's probably man-made by another country, or it's it's it's, it's technology that the government's messing with. Watch that one one section of the government doesn't know about, but maybe maybe, maybe. it's alien. What, wait, is there something specific that you guys are talking? Yeah, about? Yeah, watch or the sixty. A... Watch the sixty minutes interview. Um, because Was there one recently? It's declassified. Yeah, the sixty minutes. And no minutes one cares. There's tons. I know, no. but I'm. I'm. Listen, but Neves, hold on one second. I'm. I'm talking to him. Yeah. Was there something recently? Yeah. There's stuff Within on the last Fox week, News, a, like the real Neves, news. Shut your shut dumb up, mouth. Neves. He just asked you. To I'm shut talking up. to him. I'm asking him a fucking question. I would question. call any news real yeah. news. Shut the fuck up. I'm just curious. <laughs> Let him answer the question. Oh well, it's been declassified for a while. This information. I know, but they're but, on sixty minutes. Like uh, several of them answering these no, questions. But I mean, and hearing it from yes within the last week simon okay that's all and they also within that interview like within days after so i guess by now there had to have been a released report that the um i guess the pentagon had to, someone had to release like this official report officially this last week as well oh well, okay and yeah i know that these have been around I'm just mm -hmm. trying to get some basic answers here go. thank you even yeah, Shaq said before it's one. like on the history channel or something <laughs> crazy 
Yeah. And now it's like on mainstream news, and you're yeah. like, okay. They st- people still don't seem to care for they some don't reason. Care. But History Channel just doesn't give a shit. Well, they're you like, know if it's that, like they're doing ghost hunters at nine, and then yeah. UFOs. Well, you at- don't know. History you're just Channel saying be like, we found it. this rock in the middle of the field. How did it get here? We don't know. It must be fucking aliens. There's alien. I saw right. it. They jumped straight to aliens. Yeah. I used to. Yeah, you All guys, you guys know just as much as we know, which is nothing. Exactly. We just, we're just hearing things and we're forming an opinion. Mm-hmm. I just, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I just think that anyone who says something is absolutely false is fucking stupid because they're just as ignorant as me saying it's absolutely true. Let Go me on. give you this: one of the guys, and you watch it. It's not long, the sixty minutes thing. It's really not that. But one of them, one of the guys, the pilots, um, you can tell he's legit. His stories kind of match up with the others, and he was like. Like you've seen them for a while. He's like, oh yeah, pr- almost every day. Like every day, almost every day they'll see like out there they on the play games with each other. One of the big ones uh, was out off the coast of uh, like North Carolina, like up Virginia border area. That's my kite. That was your kite. Well, there that was you go. My kite. We got that one figured out. That was it. That's the kite. <laughs> it's an Ewok village kite. <laughs> Perfect. I have one of those <laughs> when I was little. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, interesting shit. Yeah. It is interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, we've had enough crazy for, like, I don't want anything else crazy in my life. <laughs> we've done the oh, pandemic. Oh, things are going to get crazier, yeah. I like, think. I don't need to, to we, I don't need there to be aliens in my life. Let's, you know what's funny? Let's wait. We're, pro- we're probably going to get to the point soon here where now the fake news, because, yeah, I mean, of course, there's always been fake news at certain points here and there, or very biased news. So, like, I'm sure at some point we'll be like, oh, my goodness half the planet or maybe even 20% of the planet is going to believe a story about actually like contact. That's the next level of crazy. I understand this all sound nuts. Like war of the worlds multiplied by a thousand. Well, well, I was just thinking more like uh, somebody was like, Hey, you know what? Reporting on this actual contact. And now, uh, and now they're gone already, but now there's going to be this whole new thing of like, Hey, these people say this really happened. We went to waffle house and, uh, and then they were out. Yeah. Right, and then there they there they were. Yeah. And we talked and we watched movies together, and they it's told us off. the secrets of everything. And then people are going to start believing it. And we had a dance battle. Yeah, that already exists. I think you just described most of the History Channel's content. So mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, perfect. It's out there. Well, yeah, I guess so. Me and Gleep Glorp went down to Waffle House. <laughs> Gleep Glorp's back. <laughs> had a good old time. Oh god! But people are watching them. Like, the, hopefully, those are a small portion of it. I think that it's going to get worse, and they're going to be like. Yeah, we'll Tens see. of millions of people. Who knows? <laughs> all right. All right. It's going to be at your hands, too. I can already we'll see, see it. We'll see. I look forward to the slow decline of common sense. Way ahead of you. <laughs> oh, it's speeding up. Yeah, it is. It's, <laughs> it's speeding well, up. Well, hey, on, on that note, should we end it? Yeah, yeah. it's perfect time yeah. to end it. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, hey, Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for chilling with us. Absolutely. And tell us in the comments also, aside from what Dora asked, which was, or I think it was thick was about thick. where mm-hmm. to vacation, yeah. tell us about your alien encounters that you've had. There you go. Ooh. Thank you very much. We'll read them next time. That sounds fun. Ooh, that does sound fun. Mm-hmm. If you've made it to the end of this podcast, I, from the from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. Yeah. You've wasted <laughs> your time. Uh, but we hope that you have a comment. Maybe we'll read it later. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.